On the stark plains of Kepler 22b, Commander Lou's breath fogged the glass of her helmet, a silent assertion of life in the desolate expanse. Here, millions of miles from home, the stars didn't twinkle with warmth. They were distant pinpricks in the fabric of a cold, indifferent universe. She drove a flagpole into the ground, its fabric hanging motionless in the absent breeze, a lone human artifact on an unyielding frontier. Inside her suit, a playback of earthly voices cut the silence, laughter and tears of loved ones now worlds away. As the recording played, their presence seemed to momentarily fill the void around her, a balm to the sting of isolation. She retreated to the lander, the hatch sealing with a finality. The lander's engines ignited, a bright flare against the dark silence, as the bond with Kepler-22b was broken. Terraformable, her report would echo back to Earth a word that now felt hollow against the backdrop of the cosmos. She peered into the abyss, her reflection a solitary figure amidst a sea of stars, each beckoning to the relentless curiosity within her. The loneliness was palpable, a stark contrast to the innate pull of discovery that drove her into the void. As the planet diminished behind her, she was left to wonder if humanity's reach for the heavens justified the solitude it wrought.